The Best Seat by Arthur Zach Hamilton, illustrator, Yip Jar Design. It was a cool Saturday afternoon. Actually, it was just barely afternoon. Jack was just waking up to start the day. The coffee was steaming, the sun was beaming, and the best part of Jack's day was just around the corner. Breakfast! The clock now read one in the afternoon, and there was one more thing that Jack loved to do when he woke up. He loved sitting in his front seat and listening to his favorite music. But someone was already in it. It was a walrus. No one ever sits in Jack's seat except for Jack and he was not ready to share. What a nice seat. I do like to sit here. Jack and Walrus fought over the seat until the clock read two in the afternoon, but there was just one too many in Jack's favorite seat. Meow. I will go find another best seat in, to sit in, said Jack. No, no, you sit here. I will go find my own best seat to sit in and I will do it before the clock strikes three, Walrus announced. The race was on. Walrus and Jack stopped to see who could find the best seat before the clock struck three. At a quarter past two, Jack found his first seat, but it moved too much that freaked him out and it freaked him out. So Jack kept looking for the best seat. Walrus found the moving seat tool. What a nice seat. I will sit here. At half past two, an interesting sound led Jack to his next seat, but it was too wet and that freaked him out. So Jack kept looking for the best seat. Walrus found the wet seat too. What a fun seat, I will sit here. At a quarter to three, a peculiar sound led Jack to his next seat, but it was too squishy and that freaked him out. So Jack kept looking for the best seat. Wallace found the squishy seat, too. What a great seat. I will sit here. Jack found many strange seats that didn't quite fit, and he found many places that he shouldn't sit. He spent so much time finding spots and examining them that he lost track of what Walrus was doing. When Jack, when Jack caught back up with Walrus, together they tried ottoman, tuffets, wicker, and stumps. They tried chairs that were soft, hard, smooth, and bumpy. They tried anything that looked like a seat, even a dirty pile of laundry. They tried so many options that when the clock struck three, Jack and Walrus were both very tired, so they gave up and sat down right where they began, even though they had not yet found the best seat. Ah, meow, meow. It's not what you're sitting on, but who you are sitting with that makes it the best. 
the best seed, the very best seed is with a friend. <laughs>